Should I visit China? What an amazing country the People's Republic of China is. Uh, of course, it's the most populous country in the world and borders on 14 other countries, which probably explains a lot about its uh, traditionally aggressive uh, military behavior. It's also uh, uh, the third, second, fourth largest country in the world, depending on which list you use. Uh, Russia's the biggest and perhaps the most polluted. Uh, it's certainly an amazing place to visit, as I myself have uh, discovered. Uh, but should you go, uh, some advise staying away while others are supportive of such a trip. I look at both sides. First of all, those who say, yes, yes, you should go, you should visit China. Well, look, China deserves to be admired for its great innovation and creativity through the centuries. Uh, they're currently innovating uh, rapidly. They make most of the products that we use in our respective homes. They deserve our respect. It's worth seeing what they're up to. There are, of course, some fantastic sites for tourism, including the Great Wall of China and the Terracotta Warriors, but also the spectacle of cities like Shanghai, especially, which, by the way, is best seen at night. It's just an unbelievable sight. Uh, China's fantastic high-speed rail network is certainly worth some attention, including uh, there's a 350 kilometers per hour driverless train. Can you imagine? Uh, China has the biggest high-speed rail network in the world. Uh, and for those so inclined, there's of course the Shanghai Disney Resort, uh, which is open, although there's some kind of health restrictions. Uh, in the interior, there's some wonderful nature, some wonderful natural sites to be seen, uh, great rivers, deserts, uh, lakes, extensive ocean sites and coastal areas. Uh, and although it's a, obviously a sens sensitive subject, Tiananmen Square in Beijing is not to be missed. History has been made there on, on more than one occasion. Go see it. China is a terrific tourist destination, and it should be on your must list. <laughs> okay, well, what about those who say, no, forget about it, don't go. Well, to begin with, the foreign offices of uh, the USA, the United Kingdom, Australia, they're, they're all dubious about the wisdom of a trip to China. At a minimum, uh, they say, use extreme caution if you, if you must go. The COVID rules are burdensome. Uh, there are extensive testing requirements and they change from time to time at short notice. But even more important is the fact that you have to be quarantined for a minimum of seven days on arrival. And that in itself is it's virtually a knockout blow for, for all but the most avid travelers. Um, there are health issues. Uh, China is not a country known for its hygiene. Uh, most of the uh, epidemics and diseases seem to start there. You're advised to stay away from animals and also to drink only bottled water. Uh, in the unfortunate event that you need hospital treatment, be sure to insist on sterilized equipment, otherwise you won't get it. Uh, air pollution is awful in all major cities. You'll, you'll probably begin to notice respiratory issues soon after arrival. Uh, as in all underdeveloped countries, child beggars are a big problem. They're usually organized and supervised by some nearby adult. Who, who needs this? Uh, it's a police state. Uh, you are advised not only to avoid making any kind of uh, political opinions known, but even to attend any demonstrations. Uh, ignoring this advice could easily get you into trouble. You, you'll, you'll probably be required to register a place of residence with the local Public Security Bureau. They are really paranoid about foreigners. China is not a pleasant place to visit. You'd be well advised to go someplace else. Whew. Well, what's my take on this? It's simple. Forget it unless you need to go. Who needs a rival quarantine and all the rest of it? Well, that's my take. Uh, sorry to be so blunt, but there it is. Uh, Hope you liked it, uh, but in any case, uh, please uh, subscribe and take a look at some of these other possibilities uh, uh, that uh, you might be interested in. Thanks a lot.